I'm KJ. I'm a rising senior at the small tech school in Cambridge, Massachusetts called MIT. I want to make a giant impact on the world, and I think my next step to achieving that goal is to get a PhD in aerospace engineering. So right now, I'm conducting research at Stanford University to see if this is the place I'd want to spend the next five to seven years of my life. This is a typical day in my life at Stanford. So I just woke up and honestly I had a pretty good sleep so I'm excited for how this day is going to turn out. In this video I'm just going to go about my normal day, I'm not trying to sugarcoat anything or make it seem more enjoyable than it actually is. And throughout the video I'm also going to tell you about the importance of securing summer opportunities in college and even in high school if that's where you're at. So make sure to stick around for the entire video as you'll get some pointers throughout. If you've watched my previous vlog you probably know who Timmy is and he's actually in this very program also. So I'm going to head over to breakfast with him and get ready. And I'll see you on the other side. We go all the way when you're feeling down. Push the pain away. We go bottoms up. We go all the way. And face the shit another day. We go bottoms up. Summer vacations aren't really viewed as vacations, especially if you go to a prestigious university. It's almost seen as abnormal if you aren't really doing something that someone considers substantial over the summer. During my first two summers in college, I'd interned at an aerospace company in LA. And of course, this summer, I'm at Stanford and secured an all-expenses-paid research opportunity. I think I'll be able to give you some good tips that will help you secure some cool summer opportunities. And if you're not in college yet, these will be good tips to just keep in mind when the time does come to apply, which could very well be in high school. So we just had breakfast right now. It's actually pretty good. It's not usually that good. I mean, you really can't go wrong with eggs and some type of protein and potatoes. But right now I'm heading to lab. And with research, there isn't really any sort of set schedule. So I just try to be in lab as often as the grad students are so I can help out as much as possible. So yeah, right now we're heading to Duran where a bunch of the aerospace engineering labs are. And Timmy's also working in a lab in the same building. So we're gonna head over there right now. We both know it's too late, but I think you already know Cause it shows Right now I'm just in my little office space and this is where I spend most of my days I'm just doing some reading because I have to talk to the grad student I'm working under later and just to talk about next steps Networking is probably the single most important piece of advice I can give you right now. You never know who's in whoever's network, so just being able to stay professional in more public environments could really go a long way. With thousands of applications coming in for various programs, just knowing someone on the inside will at least ensure you that your application gets read by the right people, and that gives you a shot. To get into this program, I had asked my advisor last summer to connect me with someone at Stanford. And through that connection, I was able to get a lab tour, I was able to meet a couple of grad students, and I was even able to meet the professor that I'm working under this summer. So yeah, just reaching out and trying to expand my network was really worth it in terms of getting into this program. Right now, Timmy just sent me a message, so we're going to head out to lunch, which should be a good time. Be confident in your own abilities and be honest with what you can bring to the table. In an interview setting, if you really don't know too much about a topic, just let the interviewer know that. And also let them know that you'll be able to put in the extra work and actually gain the knowledge needed to be successful in the job. They would rather have someone willing to put in the work and continually be open to learning than someone who thinks they know everything. So you really have to be conscious of this. There's really this fine line where you have to be able to sell yourself and you really have to show what you're capable of, but you can't come off as arrogant or too cautious hockey, you have to show that you're willing to grow. So Timmy and I just came back from lunch. We ate at Treseder where there's just a bunch of different places to eat. So we chose Panda Express today and we usually just try to change it up to have some variety. But right now we have to head back to lab. So I'll see you in there. So right now I just got out of lab. It was actually a really productive day and I got a lot of work done and learned a lot about programming in C and integrating Python programs and also about airplane dynamics. 
So right now I was going to have a workshop, but unfortunately the person was sick, so I'm just gonna go pick up my lunch and probably head back and relax for a bit before I head out to a movie. Apply, apply, and apply, and don't feel discouraged about any sort of rejections. If you really want to be a part of an internship or program, just put yourself out there and try for it. The worst thing that could happen is that you get some practical interview practice. And the more comfortable you become putting yourself out there, the more confident you become in yourself and the better you come off during those interviews. And if you're really passionate about something, this goes back to my networking point. Try and connect and build relationships with people who you think have that in. And if you get rejected, who cares? As I said before, this will just be more practical interview practice for you. So right now I'm heading with my sweet mates. We're actually gonna go watch a movie. Yeah, we're gonna go watch uh, Spider-Man Far From Home. It's gonna be pretty sick. Yeah, we're all pretty excited. So we'll see you on the other side. And if you ever receive a position, don't take it for granted. Whether or not you know it, people around you are watching you and they're taking into account everything that you do. If you go in and put the extra mile in every day, they'll notice that and they'd wanna bring you back with some sort of return offer. Return offers are surefire ways to just get rehired into a certain company without having to go through the interview process again. And with a lot of companies, these return offers will just keep on coming. So say you intern as a freshman, you can get a return offer for your sophomore year and then your junior year and then your senior year. And inevitably that will end up coming back as a full-time return offer. So what you do now in your first initial internship could really lead to a full-time job later. So really just focus on that first initial impression. Hey, so we just got back from the movies and we actually all really enjoyed it, but it's pretty late right now and I'm tired. So I'm going to head to sleep now, but if there's going to be any takeaways for this video, I'd just say be your own advocate, really put yourself out there and you'll be able to get some opportunities that maybe you wouldn't even thought you would have received. And in terms of your personal life, treat your summer opportunities just like how I talk about how you treat yourself during the school year. Take some time for yourself to unwind from the stresses of the day and just do something like go watch a movie with your friends and honestly i think that'll make any experience a lot better if you haven't already make sure you follow me on instagram and twitter and i'll be updating my story as the summer progresses and as for this channel i'll be making a lot of videos so stay tuned for those as always thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video it's like I'm stuck in reverse, crashing back into you. What's the use?